Yes, make your adjustments every time I open the game. I believe everything's set already. Okay. I don't know if the sensitivity's good. Hey James, I've started by the way. For the day. Um, for the day. Uh, so you're I not coming realize... back. Continue. Did somebody I play? That I have to get through the entirety of the six Harry Potter book by next week because I'm. And so I gotta just, I gotta do like five hours of it every day this week. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah, it's not my my progress anyways. Uh so I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna work for a bit. Okay. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity this in existence. Is loud. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. That sounds bad. So not now, though. No. Sorry about Incoming that. transport detected. Approach Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38,000. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000. Set speed. Contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Okay. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. So this is who I am, then. Is there a way to turn on subtitles? Nothing there. Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, I'm gonna mess with the sensitivity a little bit. This should do. Uh, oh. I can see things. Inbound. Uh, is there anything interesting? I'm large created. There's a health warning. Biological specimens. Okay. Gen 3's armor replacement shards. Classified information. More. A lot of classified information. Can I mess with this? Active scan. Oh, 
Oh, this is the drop ship there, I think. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Okay. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. Okay. Welcome to that. Mars City. Union I Aerospace's premier research facility. Yeah. To expedite your processing, off, please proceed wrong. directly to reception. You should too. Is there a reason? If you're staying here, watch your back. Okay. You should be careful. It's not safe here. Trust no one. Okay. Data storage and supplies. All classified. Health warnings. Wait. Did not open. Okay. Oh, she has great. I could delete those files. I don't feel like that's a good idea. Wait, how do I push? Oh, I. Oh, it literally meant I can push them. Oh, that's a big pit into nowhere. Hopefully this difficulty isn't too hard. Welcome okay. to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This will only take a second. Okay, okay let me get this started. Okay. Alright, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Pathogens. Okay. Why hello there. UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research. Attention, Director Banks. Please report to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help okay. November safety awareness month on Mars and the UAC. Okay. Okay. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If okay. you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the sign. Okay. Real quick. Thank you, and have a nice day. I can download this now. Data sent to my PBA, then. Uh. Welcome message from Director Banks. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'd like to take a brief moment of your time and welcome you to what we call our home away from home. We will make uh, every effort to make your stay here as pleasant as possible. And if you need something, please feel free to contact your supervisor for immediate assistance. I hope you can find the time. Take advantage of our great stuff As a reminder, we engage in te te uh, technical, highly secure... Uh, highly secure testing and research here. Please refrain from wandering into unauthorized area, and security team members will assist you if needed. Marine, report to Marine Command as uh, soon as possible. Don't waste any time getting here. We're short on troops. I need you out on patrol as soon as possible. Uh, safety is critical to everything we do on Mars. We will review all standard safety pr protocol during the month of November, Safety Awareness Month. It is mandatory that you schedule time to attend each of these valuable workshops. Uh, proper plasma handling, review of proper sto uh, proper storage of plasma, how to handle plasma leaks, and the best way to treat plasma burns. Emergency first aid, the lo learn the location and correct use of all the health packs placed throughout the facility. Special attention will be given to waste prevention methods. Health resource resources are squandered if a large pack is used only when a small pack is needed. Storage for weapons and ammo. Special lecture on safe storage of weapons and ammo. Breed Nelson will give uh, will be giving hands-on lessons in proper tar targeting and strafing. Emergency loss of environment. Uh, this lecture will focus on what to do if you're faced with an air leak, structural 
uh, failure or airlock failure. Special care will be paid to the locations of emergency emergency air tanks. See postings outside UAC HR for times and locations. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. Okay. On behalf oh. of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, archaeological study, and military operations. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary or just have a simple question, Find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars okay. provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC liaison. Thank you, and have a nice day. Sounds good. Fist balled up, hand that <laughs> That's attached to the ends of the arms, useful for bludgeoning. Okay, good to know. I forgot. I need to get out of that group. A uh, group I joined a long time ago that changed to something else. There we go. You better move along. It looks like you've got some important things to do. I can't mess with that computer. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. Missing scientists, we need help finding them. Okay. Is that another email then? Missing staff. Dr. Jonathan Ishii from the Delta Science team is missing. Security is concerned that he may be injured and unable to respond to pages or return to his post. Please keep an eye out for Dr. Ishii and report to UAC security if, uh, if he is located. He was last seen in Mars City underground approaching the airlock leading to the old communications array. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. Is there some type of problem? I'm just trying to get my work done here. Okay, don't need to be I'm here aggressive. because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? 
They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruka, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Okay. There, uh, there is a crouch button. Do I have a flashlight or something? Oh, wait, hello there. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Is there anything else around here to know about? This is where I came from. Elevator. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. I can't help you here. Head to Marine Command. They can help you. Gotcha. Do I keep my arms up like that at all times? These toilets make creepy noises. Yeah, I saw those suits around. IPN News Network, your universe now. The Union ah, someone new. Denied yeah, allegations. Nice new faces around here. Hope you enjoy your stay. Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, he said he just lost it. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher, three. Nice. Why is this a thing? Why am I playing this? Let me see what I got on my, uh, for the video disc that I picked up. Was it not a video disc? Adam. Lost PDA. Adam, please take more caution in securing your PDA. Or, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to calling it PDA. It's turned up, lost, and found three times this month. As you know, your basic security clearances are stored on it, are on that, and it becomes a serious uh, security issue in any time a PDA is lost. Failure to secure your PDA could eventually result in your termination. Uh, Adam, your report is long overdue. Record an audio log for what you've done today on your maintenance shift and send it to me immediately. I know you recorded the cabinet today, and it uh, is imperative that I update my master list with the new code. I do not want to tell you again how important it is to record those codes. Dr. Burnish, uh, I have some great news for you. Your name came up in the last management meeting as possible candidate for our Delta Labs outreach program. As you have probably heard, we are conducting some new and exciting and important uh, some sorry, some very exciting and important experiments here in Delta. Your supervisor recommended you as a good candidate and in fact, he insisted that you would be perfect for the job. I reviewed your file and I agree with his assessment. You will make a perfect test subject. Our work here is very important at UAC and you should feel privileged that you have the chance to be part of it. Uh, Mr. K. Klerski, uh, BS, remember, volunteering is the best choice. I'd hate to invoke clause 12.A of section 543 of your employment contract, uh, which if you're not familiar with, uh, Allows us to appoint volunteers. Accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me, just what the hell is happening over there? It's me, man. Look, all I do is repair the inverters when they blow, okay? That's it, fine. But all those steps away, I mean, how much damn power do they need? This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. 
I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. 396. So I'll type 396 into some things. Delta Labs is looking for individuals to fill critical positions. You know, I can't break through my head. Credits at the same time. Volunteers are needed in the following areas. Teleportation. We're looking for test subjects to stress test the new teleporters. Experience tomorrow's traveling technology today. Uh, medical research. Our advanced pharmaceutical teams need to volu uh, needs volunteers to participate in exciting medical studies. Help us find cures to everything from the common cold to Ebola 7. Uh, specimen handling. We need volunteers to help handle and track the specimen gathered through Delta Lab experiments. Help test and liability waivers will be required. For more information about any of these opportunities, uh, be sure or to post uh, openings in your department. Please see an HR coordinator. Attention, Dr. Braddock. Please report to Environment report Management to Office Kelly or Asap. Alpha. He's in command HQ. Uh, this way, then, real quick. I'm almost ready. Boil them down. It's not looking good. I can't be interrupted now. I've got work to finish. Welcome to the unit. I'll see you around. Delta Science Management. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't you have some orders you need to be following? Kinda. Was it three, four, seven? Oh, video. Oops. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UAC, the Series 3 plasma gun is an extremely versatile medium range combat weapon. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma, the plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low-cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. What was the number I had on this? This is the audio update. log of maintenance technician Adam Burnett. Dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience I'm trying while to reconfigure I was down there. Guy. I Shortly talk. after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over that Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. Okay. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. I'm assuming that isn't log. it then. Because he's talking about maintenance crew, and that's dirty. Took his sweet time, Marine. Yes, I did. Now, here's the situation. Another James member of the team's gone missing. Yeah. If you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. 
want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. When you complete your mission, report back here. Nothing to pick up here then. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credit? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director you for more details. <laughs> cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. How far do we have to go? Oh, is this it? Nice. So how's the James doing today? He's he's doing okay. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol hey, Chris. before passing through security. I'm streaming, by the way. Okay, grab your gear. Hey, how you doing? Now hey, you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Hey, James. Can you watch, watch that radio program? check. Excellent. Yeah. Good it's signal. Important. Where is it? I just lost it. God damn it. Looks like you've been assigned to decommission comm facility. <laughs> just follow the main passage through <laughs> the yes, underground junction and straight out. You'll have a quick evac. <laughs> and what better way well, this to see is the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot it. Oh, Chris, they just told me not to shoot any civilians. Oh, haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. My god. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Seven megabytes. Just play it. Oh my god, look, I'm downloading it. <laughs> What's the issue? James is having an aneurysm. When is he not? Hey! You're looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see, uh, never mind. Don't listen uh -huh. to me. Never mind what I say. Not my sister. Oh. Well, it looks like I owe James a dollar. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Just finish the coupling so we can continue. Away. How did you get up there? How are you gonna get down? Also, James, here you go. Me in quarantine. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Grant Baston, the environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I think that 19th. really does embody you. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, Unexplainable thing. <laughs> Being one. on another planet and working underground has always that. been a little spooky. <laughs> so we always have so the occasional well. report of strange things. Because he's vibing. But what is it's worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People also, are truly good frightened. Is good one. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The okay. power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. 
I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. <laughs> you will not believe this. Actually, you probably will. The late night security detail couldn't figure out how to open the security can that's from the security office. I spent the next morning walking them through the steps in the security panels. They didn't realize that you could open both cabinets from the one security panel. Where do they find these people? Unit supervisor. Uh, November security update for your area. Underground maintenance has been completed. Please update the security cabinet code 531. Hoping that this is it then. Nice. Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things yeah. that are going on. <laughs> the garage area is right through that door. Man, James, this is me and my cat in the quarantine. You and the cat in quarantine? Too. Did your cat no. actually? I mean, it's no. like heaven would do that to you, so. Also, hey, James. Here you go. Adrenaline. Oh, so I can run for longer. I see. I love that song. It's so good. It's also, stay indoors, James. Freddy has learned how to fly. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I want to see what you're talking about, but I can't. <laughs> Not right now. Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. <laughs> The shape behind the slaughter, James. Huh? No, no, please. Uh, you must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let. I, I don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. Uh, <laughs> Sweet. Awkward. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. I can't kill it. Well, if I fail to stop it. You almost hit me there. Oh, he has a gun! James did a play for you. Yeah. This is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown Last enemy force. Mm -hmm. All back to Marine HQ to regroup. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another good one. It's my favorite transformation. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await. <laughs> 
So what has Chris been doing all this time? What? Dying. For real though. Dying. Are you gonna give me a straight answer? That's as straight as it gets. <laughs> Leaders give sit reps. Over. I was about to make a very mean joke, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pull back before I make a very mean joke to you. I probably I think I might know what the joke is. You might not want to say that on Twitch. I don't think it'd get me in trouble on Twitch. I'll tell you it after. Because I think you're thinking I was going to say something entirely different than what I'm thinking. Probably. I don't know. If it, were, if, if it was a good insult that goes with what we were talking about, then I know what you're talking about. If it's completely abstract and has nothing to do with it, then I don't know. It doesn't have nothing to do with it, but... Ow. Oh. It definitely is... If, if it's following the lines of the conversation, that's very clever, no. I wasn't gonna go that route. Okay, hold on. Give me one sec. Ow! Well then. So melee is not an option, really. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. Oh, wait. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further. I forgot about that for a second. Leaders give sit reps. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We have pinned down an outland. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in some level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Missed me. Yep. That's conveniently timed. supplies down here. I'll definitely take any supplies I can get. Okay. 
What are you talking about? Well, I'm Ryan. I'm trying to be funny, and I need James's help. The comedy genius himself. Okay. If that's what you think. Hey, hey, Chris. I kind of like this email. Just, yo, Frank, don't forget that we're starting the party early this time. 8.15. <laughs> UAC employee, we have received your complaint and we'll consider your request. Safety is important to us and we'll do everything to ensure security through the UAC. Sincerely, UAC security. Hey, Chris, you want to play no. Fort? Chris, you want to play some Fortnite later? Uh, I'm... Uh, I don't think I'll be available because I got college work to do today. Uh. I just haven't started it yet because, you know... Oh. Yee. I've been doing mine in the morning. I don't wake up in the morning unless I don't sleep well, and I slept like shit last night. <laughs> uh, I'm becoming increasingly concerned for the safety of myself and my coworkers down here in the underground. We're bet, uh, we've had guys getting stuck outside of the airlock that leads to the old comm link building. Or comm building. And here, and there seems to be, uh, there seems to be a built up tension, of tension, uh, over the past few weeks. I've seen friendly co-workers change. I formally request additional security as well as investigation. This is the audio log of Frank uh. Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18th, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta the complex night, right? is causing oh, havoc. We now, are using our own empirical systems to help like sustain like these level functions. Um, I request clearance to requisition parts you know, from other departments in order to maintain like our equipment. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Like, scenes, scenes, all I like hand out here. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, like, all hell is gonna break loose. It starts with this. Just it's it's just a I'm pretty sure it's just a still background in the chat. Gosh, it's hard to hear. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production data dot twenty one forty five. Reclamation problems will seem to break in the process. Two more valve overloads are making it in just the past week. Ow! These overloads can destroy random. the valves, causing very dangerous fires. There's enough heat to through. incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. I don't know how to explain Today, we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. Like and this is due in large part to the quick them. response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 342 and the operation from the most quick, adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure. Yeah. He doesn't move, but the camera slowly zooms in on him. What? It's terrifying. Ow! Ow! So, Chris, it looks like melee is. Not something you can really do in Doom, th uh, Doom Three, unless you want to get punched in the face. Doom it's Three was their oh. failed attempt at a horror game. Was it? Yes, that was supposed to be a scary game. It doesn't seem that scary so far. Like I said, failed attempt. <laughs> that and it's the worst Doom game in the entire franchise. I don't know, I'm not- I'm kind of enjoying it so far. I mean, as far as Doom goes, it was trash. As far as, like, overall, is it a game? Is the game not bad? It's like, yeah, but when you th it's like... It's a good example. It's like... The new Ratchet and Clank game for the PS4. It's a great game, but compared to the other Ratchet and Clank, it's not garbage. Ah. Uh. Like, it is- it is- it, Doom 3 was like, if you went from, it's basically the machine for pigs of Doom. But a machine for pigs was not good. I think it was Doom 3. <laughs> no, no, but I mean the game itself is not good. 
I mean, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't good. Not by any stretch. It, it sits in this nice little, sort of fine line of just mediocrity. And that's where Doom 3 rests as well. Yeah, but the difference like being the is... It, and, like, the whole, like, setup in this game, the game itself is kind of... Yeah, but weird. the difference between, like, at least so far, Doom 3 and Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, was that I'm actually enjoying Doom 3 so far. Other than the Maybe fact... Actually, instead of, like, doing stupid puzzle shit defenseless and it's not scary enough, at least you have a gun to shoot shit with. I suppose. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is the constant radio chatter of, like, ah! Ah! Oh! I almost got shot! Like I said, they really tried to make it scary. Okay. But, like, but, like... Like, I can't hear anything over the ah, yeah, yeah, in the background, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm sitting there trying to listen to PDAs, and it's just, we're receiving fire! <laughs> God, it is actually, is there a way to turn the radio chatter down? <laughs> I'm being serious. It actually almost hurts my ears how loud it is compared to it. My gunfire is quieter than the than the than the uh, people screaming over the intercom and com links. And you, I'm gonna dip out. I gotta get some work done. I see how it is. You're gonna leave me, just like everybody James else. Here. James is here. He's gonna leave me, just like everybody else. That sucks. Where's James going? He's doing his work because he's I gotta behind. Read Harry Potter six because I uh, didn't realize that I had to have both the fifth book and movie done this. I thought we were still in the book. Mm. I've given oh! Six like I I'm still kind of mad at my teacher for switching it to like a thirty-minute. Like I'm still mad at my teacher for switching the before you go. I'm, uh, I'm just I'm still mad at my teacher for switching the assignment from like open all day to announcing sometime because I got up at like four o'clock. I checked my announcements to make sure nothing changed, right? Mm. And then later that day, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna check my grades real quick. And it's like missing assignment, and there's like a thirty minute window that he opened the assignment for. That is so. Stupid! Because he said he's doing that for the exams. He didn't say he was doing that for the mini exams. Just the exams. Alrighty, I'm Unless I misinterpreted what he said. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailant. Establish a stronghold, keep them at bay. So how's the James doing? You know. What's the James doing? Okay. Can I please move? and set up a CP there. Out. I tried to duck the shot. Why do they have so much stuff locked from here? Why do they even have it on their computers if they can't actually access it? That doesn't make sense.
I gotta reload. This is Sergeant Kelly. What was that Fall chance? back to Marine HQ and await further orders. I got scared. You got scared? I did get scared. From what? Me. I didn't expect anybody in there. I could go pick up the armor. I'm being transferred to Mars City. All remaining Marine units. This is Sergeant. You're gonna have to wait, Sergeant Kelly. I'm doing a new save. Kelly, I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Oh, hello. Ooh, Christ's sake, I don't like that. No, 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 no. You don't like what? Hey, you. Spike! Up here, ah! quickly. was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something, Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. Okay. And people started changing. Oh! It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. My bad. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. You want to retract the ladder then? You can't get me down. I'm staying here. Hey, hey, Hurry hey, back hey. with some help. I don't want to stay up here alone. You can't get me down. I'm staying here. Be careful. I don't know what's in here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. This is Mark Stanton. Manifest controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the manifest controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest, but whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Okay. I'll go ahead and also read this one. Uh, any idea who this guy is? I think he may uh, be the funny looking dude at Alphalos, but I always thought his name was Alan. Are you going to go have a drink with him? I will, uh, wouldn't normally, but if he's buying, the other people will be there. It'll be fun. You received this email. You are someone I have worked with for a while. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not going to read those out loud. I was reading those in my head while listening to the audio. Seize the crouch button. Control is fire for whatever reason. I think I'm gonna change that in the in the controls. 
Uh, crouch. I'm really good at that one. I would prefer... Be back. Be back? Okay. There we go. That makes things more comfortable. ACO key card. Okay, good to know. Commanded you. This is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. Guns or melee? Melee, I can take them. That sounds like somebody's approaching behind me. Nice try. That was a little bit close for comfort. this way. That didn't do anything for me. Is there nothing else over here? Was there nothing over here in the first place? Hmm. Let me see the emails first. Mark, thank you for sending me the audio report. I wish, uh, I wish the news was better. I will coordinate our, with our colleagues here on Earth to find additional staff and resources to assist. Given the situation there, it isn't going to be easy. You may be on your own for a while. My advice to you, continue to document everything you can. Attempt to find the root of the problem, and for goodness sake, Stash, uh, stash weapons and medical supplies for yourself in the in case things get worse. I'm glad to hear you've already taken some precautions by locking some supplies in Canada. I hope it uh, I hope it is enough. I appreciate you uh, include the code in your report and will. Uh, I appreciate you including the report or your report uh, the code in your report. Well, wow. can't read. 
Mark, I hear that you are leaving Mars. I'm happy that you'll be able to spend more time with your family. But I'm worried about the deteriorating de 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 situation here. We're short-staffed already. The departure will be a big loss. Speaking of which, I've noticed that Zack in operations has been behaving more and more erratically. Since talking with you, I'm not sure if I'm being overly sensitive or if he caught the bug going around. I swear uh, he tried to bite me today. Is your absence, or in your absence, is there anything I should do, Sarah? Um. Audio log for Dr. Casein, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. Do we have uh, being overworked and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well? Dr. Casey and out. Okay. Whoa! Dr. Mark Casey, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply door. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Oh, Wills was heavily that. medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet. Code 347. Three, four, Dr. Casey and out. Ow. Ow, how are you hitting me? I'm below the desk. Three, four, six. No, I missed the code because of you. Dr. James. They interrupted me. At I missed the code. Patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room five. However, by the time I reached him at ten after four, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Ow! Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed. But in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. 347. Out. I'll take that. When do you think you're going to be headed out, James?
about to do something stupid, James. Huh? I'm about to do something stupid, James. Why? Oh. Because I want access to supply lockers. Oh, you can just duck it. Wow. Yeah, I did do something dumb then. Bill Tyson. Uh, Staff Sergeant Tyson, I have been a major supporter of putting sentry bots on routine patrols. In the past, they have proven to be very reliable. That changed today. I witnessed two of our guys doing maintenance on a bot in Mars City. While having it only partially assembled, they activated sensors to test their repairs. All of a sudden, the sentry locked onto one of the Marines as an enemy and began firing at him. If the ammo had been loaded, the Marine would have been killed. Thankfully, the other Marine was able to immobilize it quickly. The sentry bot is powerful, but maybe too powerful. Why do we need that much firepower in Mars City? Except for the odd report of individuals going a little crazy, we don't have many problems. Do we really expect the sentry bots to know the difference between someone having a bad day and having gone or and had someone gone mad? I hope you talk to Sarge about this before something worse happens. Oh wait. Sergeant Tyson, we have a new troop inbound to replace Alan. He will be arriving on next turn for it. Be sure to get the manifest files filled out. Uh, code change. Due to upcoming personnel transfer, we have changed the office storage code to Bruce Correa to 584. The change will take effect November 15th, 2145. Thank you, Central Security. Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my Marines sharp and ready to go. But events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing, and no Marines, of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line, whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a racer's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. Okay. Audio, now it can actually audio hear report things. confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've Marine. started a series of training exercises focusing on close-quarter small weapons combat to as well as to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. Okay. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. Okay. Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarters small weapons combat, as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but that. some combat experience will go a long way you right want now. what? Sergeant Tyson, out. Uh, it's not that it's been cursed. It's cursed? That makes me want to know about it even more. It's not cursed. Oh, then what'd you say? I misheard you. Attack! I missed. Marine, if you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. That's not good sounding. 
I'm stuck! Yikes! The UAC is here to help you. That's what you get. But I'll follow you for a little. That transmission is critical to our survival. Oh, that's not good. I'm getting pounded here. What are you doing, bot? Where's your going then? James. Eating candy. What type of candy? Uh, gum stopper. James, I'm going over to your house. Last time. <laughs> who, who said that was the only reason why I was going to your house? feel if I did randomly show up at your house? I don't know. It's been a few years. Uh, huh? I don't especially know. Don't especially know. Good, another med kit. That's kind of what I was looking for. Somebody's back there. Can I get like a card from Duncan Matthews or something? I don't know what all is in there, but it'd be nice to have. I 
Duncan Matthews. Let's see what it says. No PDA stuff. Uh, fair one for now. If you received this email, you are someone I worked with here. This oh, it's that again. We understand the pressures and concerns of civilians in Mars City. I want to assure you that there is nothing to worry about. We in UAC security have everything under control. I've left the armor you requested on your desk. I hope this helps you sleep a bit easier. We will not be able to fulfill the request for a plasma gun at this time. I would like to take the opportunity to remind you that civilian uh, remind you that civilians are not allowed the possession of weapons. If you ask again, I'll have no choice but to report you to UACHR. If you do happen to find equipment, uh, if, if you do happen to find equipment, uh, it is your duty to return it to UAC Security immediately. Sincerely, UAC Security. Uh, please requisition to my department armor and one plasma gun with ammo. With all that has been happening around here, I don't feel safe. I haven't been able to sleep, and it has been difficult to work. Uh, if it'd be easier, I could always just help myself to some of the armor I've uh, uh, seen security security leave carelessly around the base. Is that all? Medkit? No armor? Okay. I'm exiting Mars. Hey, how's it going, Shades? Sorry, I didn't see that sooner. I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out, it of, control, out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this. And you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. That doesn't sound good. Am I getting shot at already? I should have been playing closer attention to chat, that's my bad. Welcome to the Alpha Lab. <laughs> Why, hello there. The Alpha Labs began construction on October 29th. No one gets stuck here. Video and something else, okay. Welcome to the Alpha Labs, formerly designated Phase One by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division. The Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading edge technology such as the elemental phase deconstructor, hydrocarb, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, 
Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Okay. Oh wait, I know where the uh, the code was in here. Uh, five eight six. Ooh, some grenades. That'll come in handy. Armor's over there. It's an actual open window. Can you break the window? Wait, can I break the window? Nice. I can't even jump through it. Stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. Okay. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. Denied. I don't have security clearance. Do I have an idea of where to go? Okay, PBA for loading banks. Still locked. Okay. Okay. Pretty sure that's locked as well. That actually made me jump a little bit. Them still aren't much of a threat. So I don't want to be close to them for them to do their lunge attack. Soldier.
Okay, he's dead. What is that supposed to be? for Panky here. No! I'm stuck on a ledge or something. That's a... Uh, I'm assuming those are Pankies. Okay, they've nerfed the shotgun in this one. Oh. Had I known that he was just a regular dude. Free stuff. Stuff. Congratulations, you've been selected to receive one of our free promotional storage cabinets loaded with useful things that we think you'll need. To access your new storage cabinet, visit us online. Martian Buddy. Remember, you're always a winner with Martian Buddy. Uh, Mr. Moses, we've received your storage cabinet from Martian Buddy. Where would you like us to put it? Uh, thank you for the quick reply. We'll have it delivered. Excellent. I can't believe it showed up so soon. Please have someone deliver to my office in the North Hallway. I can't wait to see what they sent me. Uh, it doesn't seem to be an actual thing. An actual openable locker. I have 15 grenades on my person. Wow. Green. Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth Oops. over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. What was that? James, did you say my name or am I hearing things? What? We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. James? Alright, let's go. What I said. What you said? What did you say? I said what? Oh. I said, did you say my name? But clearly not. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly This is where the pinky destroyed things. Ow! They're staying at a distance. doesn't look too good to be perfectly honest. That looks like something that I would try to avoid. Hey James. James. Can you hear me?
those aren't good. Okay, I'm gonna move away from that because that's irritating. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, <laughs> mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an- Hey, James. James? James! Huh? Sorry. Remind me when I'm streaming, if you're here, to check the chat every once in a while, because sometimes I forget to do that. Oops. Okay. This news is... Oh, God. ...very disturbing. Especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. No! Bad timing! Bad timing! Bad timing! Ow. Let me go ahead and listen to the other... This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage inputs. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain, thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimization to the energy storage in and around the facility. I assure the director of ES that I will file a report with central authority over this. Good, I remembered that properly. What is... What is that? Just... Still alive? Paul Simmons. Another report for me. This is Paul Simons, security specialist in IT. Simons, my Our man. network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. Access granted. Okay. Let's Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. I can't wait for you. Reaching the communication and starting quickly is imperative. are easy enough to eliminate.
The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. I actually could take that. Wrong thing. Take one more hit. Nice shotgun shells. Oh wait. Oh god. Cheap trick. longer anyways. I am being blocked up by a mean man with a wrench. This shotgun is such a spread. What? Oh, what? I have a thing for the supplies. Here we go. Okay, let's see the video. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide. And separates it in. Oh, really? For generations, you uh, have yes, been for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the core committers in the chamber. And witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. 
It was not a pretty sight as it took off the back side of his head. EPD laser active. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex action. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab. Okay. And we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. Okay. The code for the cabinet is seven. Five, two. End of life. You gave me more hand grenades? Now, this seems like a save moment, by the way. Open. Oh. Ow. Ow. I missed you a whole bunch. I really shouldn't have. Oops. Aren't you really scary? Oh, that's a no-go zone. Approach me from behind when there's somebody nearby. Why, hello there. I missed. Now, believe it or not, I'm running low on pistol ammo. somebody over here. Don't know where they are. Jack Smith. Hold on. I want to see what Jack Smith has to say. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. Gas leak stopped. He managed to Fire extinguished. The, uh, power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. And we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well because we're reporting on these reports the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. 
analysis. Please mark this for review of corporate and the public. This doesn't seem good. What are you? Look, I'm just going back to look for help. Can you, like, chill? I'm s Okay. Things are not going my way. Three hundred and twenty is my max ammo for shotgun. stuck No really I'm stuck Help me Really I know how I got stuck. Hello, Roy. Hello, that's not nice. Who's chucking what? explosive barrels at me? That would be me. Oh yeah, Hunter, remind me every now and again to look at chat. I need to get back in the habit because I have a habit of forgetting that I'm streaming and not checking oh, chat. Oh, you mean in, in your live yeah. stream chat, okay. Yeah. I'm playing Doom 3 right now. By the way, melee in Doom 3 is a horrible idea. Um, yeah, it really is. Because uh, nine times out of ten, you get punched as you throw your punch. Yeah. It, it, it's just something. Ow! It, it, isn't Doom 3 that, uh, the, the 3D one? Well, there's multiple 3D ones now. 
so you have to be a little bit more specific. I mean, than the that. first 3D one. It is, yes. Okay, I thought so. That I, I, I just can remember. I, I know Doom One and Two were the 2D FPS games. Yeah, they're. Well, I mean, it tricks you into thinking it's 3D, but. But it's not truly 3D, because in truly 3D games, you can look up and down. Yeah. It gives you definition on all planes. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Wait, are you streaming right now? Yeah, I am. Okay. So I won't be for long. I'm gonna switch off soon. Video disc. I'll probably play Fortnite for a little bit. Maybe do work after. So, save yeah, the world for oh. everyone. Save the world for centuries. No. People on I mean, Earth yeah, wage too, war no. over two things vital to human existence: fuel too. and water. As part of its ongoing yeah. commitment to create safer and worlds for everyone, the UAC recently so unveiled its Oh wait, Hunter, uh, give me a second to yes. listen to the video log while I shoot things and move forward. Then I'll let you. Then you can get to. Yes. I just want to hear the video log. The Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen, cheaply and safely, without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. Yeah. Oh, the side benefit of producing Man, this glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking like spooky lately. That is more refined the hydrogen's blown a few circuits and is unstable. We envision a world Be careful where of that gun. Such a straight bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. And civil strife in impoverished I'm going to try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue. If I don't get the Hydrocon operating within it. acceptable levels, it could blow. Hey, Hunter. Yeah. The, the thing just finished, but I ran into a dude that told me that if I so much as shoot this glass thing, the whole station will blow up. I'm going to test that. I, I missed the glass because it brought it back up. Ah! Oh, well, that was just a waste of ammo. What? Did, did it work or no? No. There was no boom! I was lied to. Anyways, go on with what you're saying. Actually, you might need to be quiet because I just got something from Bernie. some name. Bernie Lipsitz. Oh, never mind. Uh, I'm just gonna read this real quick. Hey, Burn! Some of the boys and I are headed over to Mars to, uh, City tonight after the shift for some beers. You, as always, are welcome to come here. or uh, come. Wow, I cannot read today. Come along with us, buddy. I will see you there, John. Uh, Lipsitz. A siphon hose is. The, uh, in the oxygen displacement valve is forming a leak due to the lowered temperatures required to boost production in the hydrocon labs. If this hose were to rupture, it would cause severe instability in the hydrocon system and could result in a very dangerous situation. It should be replaced, Dr. Anubis. Go on now, Hunter. Uh, alright, so I've been... My favorite character so far. You would think it would be the dwarf, but it's, it, it, it is not. It's yeah. Victor Saltzfire. Victor. Yeah. The rapier wielding gunslinger. Mine mine is probably gonna be is probably gonna be just because of her weapons, the pyromancer person. Yeah. You're playing the first one or the second? Second. Ah. I play with you, but I don't think it's cross platform. Also, though, you know how I have really high sensitivity? Yeah. I made it even higher. There's something wrong with you, Hunter. So, I have 500 sensitivity when I'm editing. Yeah. And I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> and I've been playing with it, trying to figure out if I can actually use it. 
I mean, I'm not doing too terrible until I start to try to spam build. Because then I'll like look all the way to the right and that spins me around like 40 times. I don't know where I am. And then I get shot. <laughs> I've been working on building. I'm trying to do better at that. Because now that I'm in my element console rather than PC. Ah! I'm getting shot at. Where from? Run! His hat is so cool. I saw you join and leave my party at one point yesterday. Uh, cause it wouldn't let me join because I didn't have it at the time. Oh. Well, I was using the bathroom when you were doing that. Uh. No! I'm in a corner! Leave! Leave! I got beat up a little bit, Hunter. I always at the forefront of scientific research and development. That's fine. There should be a healing station here. There we go. Heal station. For everyone. I'm 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 trying to keep an active mind to uh, keep an eye out on my chat more often now. I am lost. Ah, an elevator. Alpha Labs 2. I think that's yes. a good place to stop for the day. Oh. Wait a second. This feels way too much but uh, like Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah. It it's Left 4 Dead 2 with melee weapons. Yeah, it, it is. Like... I mean, except my melee weapon, or my, uh, quick melee is actually not a melee weapon, it's a gun. Uh, I am going <laughs> to end the stream here. Let me minimize this. I will see you all next time. Bye.